Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our series on productivity applications. And we're going to take a look at an application called Printopia. Uh, now, the, uh, the beauty of this application is that it adds printing features to your iOS device so that you can print things from your iOS device to your Mac. Uh, but it does it in a, in a few unique ways. Uh, it's, uh, as I'll show you in a minute, it's a system preference pane on your Mac, but there's no configuration on your iOS device. So let me uh, show you what that looks like. So this is Printopia uh, on uh, Decisive Tactics uh, website. Uh, they're the ones that have Printopia here. It's uh, $19.99 and kind of gives you some information on how it works. Now what they do have uh, that makes this a little bit unique as well is they do have a pro version. Uh, if I just come up here to products and show you Printopia Pro, uh, for those of you that work in business environments and want to have these features available, you can uh, scale and manage uh, this uh, particular application across different subnets uh, in your uh, environment there. And so it's just a nice way to set up your printers and allow you to have print features to your Macs in a, uh, in a pretty uh, simple way. And so I'm going to show you how this works. So uh, again, here's some of the pricing. Again, if you're um, looking at this for business pricing. Uh, but for the home user, it's $19.99. So let me go ahead and just put this down. And I'm going to bring up uh, my system preferences here. And this is Printopia. Uh, again, if I just show you here, it's a system preference pane. And so if I just click on that, it takes me into the application. And you'll notice there's an on-off switch to turn the service on, and the sharing status shows right here. Now, one of the great things about Printopia is certainly it does work with your printer here. And so there's my local printer all set up and ready to go. Uh, I can turn on and off different services and right here if I come into preferences I can even set the printer properties and and do everything from the uh, type and quality of paper advanced printing options all the things I normally would set up in my uh, printer application again different print modes what I do with photos if I want to have the uh, page flipped vertical or not paper sizes I can have those set up in here as well and uh, quickly I could restore defaults if I wanted to do that. So it does allow some customization for my local printer. But one of the beauties with Printopia and what makes it unique is not so much the fact that it works with your local printer, but that you can use the print features to do various things to your Mac. Uh, if you look here, you can see right away the different things I've already got set up. I can add a PDF to iBooks and basically from my iOS device print an item and it will be sent to my Mac and automatically then turn it into a PDF take that PDF I mean and send it right into iBooks and have it available there for me I can also do the same thing with mailing a PDF I can send a PDF from my iOS device to my Mac and it will put it in an email ready to be sent via PDF uh, it works with other devices as well because this is Automator. It'll work with uh, Devon Think Pro, uh, which is another application that I use that I'll probably do a screencast on to share that with you as well. I can save it to a particular file on my server, and uh, I'll show you how that's set up. I can save, um, I can save uh, to iOS uh, saves and iCloud. I can send it to particular applications like Dropbox or Evernote. Uh, so it gives me a, a lot of different options here. Now let me show you how this gets set up. If I just click here under the plus, uh, I can uh, choose some of these uh, pre-existing things like save to a folder. And so if I just click on save to a folder, I get this dialog where I pick the folder that I want to save this to. And so I can save it to any folder that I want uh, with inside of here. And it's going to go ahead and add that. So let's say I want to save it to the movies folder and I say select. And what it does is it now creates this uh, save to movies option that's going to now show up on my iOS device. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Uh, not only can I save to a particular folder, I can save to iCloud Drive or to Dropbox directly, or I can send to any application that I've got. So if I print from my iOS device, it'll send it to that application, open the application on my Mac, and it'll be there ready to work on. Uh, again, I can also do a workflow. And I can add PDF to iBooks, to Mail, I can save it to a particular folder, 
if I wanted to add that workflow, I can send it to Messages. Uh, I covered Yoink in our previous screencast. It'll even send it to Yoink, so I'll have that already set up in Yoink for me, uh, or in this case, uh, to DevonThink Pro. So I do have these options that allow me to save it to different applications and different uh, locations as well. Now, there are some just advanced settings in here. Uh, I can use a custom network port if I don't want to use the one that it defaults to. Uh, it has a default port that's already in there. Uh, I can also uh, choose whatever printer symbols I want for the printer itself. And so I've got iOS only or iOS and Mac uh, combined there. Uh, check for updates automatically. And then I can say keep the machine awake while it's plugged in. And that's just if I want to always keep my Mac awake so I can send things to it. Uh, again, since, we've, since I've been talking about running a server, most of you already have that set up that way. But if you don't, you could check this box and make it work. All right, I'm just going to say cancel and leave that alone. So as you can see, I've got all of these different things set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my uh, iPhone and I'm going to show you what happens when I use my iPhone to send things to my desktop. Okay, so here I am over on my iPhone and I've got a PDF that I've pulled up and want to print. And so I'm just going to go ahead and tap on my little icon up there. And this is inside an application uh, like PDF Pen is what I'm in right now. I just tap on print. And you notice it takes me over here where I can select my printer. If I just tap on that, I want you to notice now all of the different things that we had set up in Printopia are now available to us here. And you can see I've even got them available on different machines. So I could send it to my MacBook Pro or to my server. It's up to me on which way I want to send that off. But I can set these up individually for the different Macs that I've got on my network as well. It really is a great uh, application. So I'm going to leave it on this recent printer, Send to Mac. I'm going to tap back to printer options and I'm just going to uh, hit print. And what you're going to see here is it's going to print it and there it is. It shows up right here on my desktop. If I just scale this down for a minute here, you can see that it's uh, printed that file that is now on my desktop and I can save it and put it wherever I want to, want to put it. And it automatically opened it for me with preview. So that, that was set up to do that. Now, if I want, let me just go ahead and uh, close this out. And let me just show you something. If I want to, I can change that behavior. So if I don't want it to actually, uh, you know, open up on my computer, I just want it to um, send it but not open it, I can come in here and I can edit this. And so let me go ahead and say uh, printer properties. And I can just uncheck this box that says open sent files automatically. And then it will just send it through and uh, and go from there but it's up to you if you want to have it open automatically or not but just wanted to show you that you can customize that uh, so let's go ahead and just put this down here and let's come back into my uh, iOS device here I'm going to tap print again and I want to show you some of those other options that are there so again I could add a PDF to iBooks if I want or mail it and uh, I can also save it to a particular location or my inbox and all those sorts of things. So uh, let me just show you one more. Let's go ahead and say add PDF to iBooks. And I'm just going to tap on that and I'm going to tap on print. And let's see what that does. It might take a little bit, a little bit uh, more time in this case to have this sent. Okay, and there it is. It has now sent from my iPhone over to iBooks. It took a little while to put it in there, but then it opens it up, and there's the actual item that I sent through to have it send it into iBooks. Again, right from my iPhone, no interaction on my own. It just went all the way through. Uh, so let's go ahead and just uh, quit iBooks there and close that out. All right, so that gives you an idea of how Printopia works. Like I said, it's a great application, uh, and it really does uh, help you uh, set up all kinds of different options for printing. And like I said, to be able to come in here and just choose where I want to send a particular file from in my network and to which Mac I want to send it to and what I want it to do once it gets there uh, really does make this an excellent application. So hopefully that will help you improve your productivity. And with those of you running server, this is just kind of another way just to get things onto your server uh, from your different iOS devices uh, and on your Macs that you have it installed on as well. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you'd like help setting up your own Mac or a Mac server, feel free to contact me at my email at todd at toddletoff.com.